Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Minyard and you can notice that this kit comes in 135 scale, it copies German cargo trailer and in my opinion this should be an interesting release for modellers who would like to build some diorama and we have a commercial sample here so it will be interesting to open it and so also it might be familiar to some of the modellers because it was released as a combo set with tractor kit we reviewed it before so you can find it easily on our youtube channel but today we are talking about the solar release which will be let's say efficient purchase for those who don't need the tractor in 135 scale so this is a commercial sample it means you'll get exactly the same stuff as what you'll see in this video review by the way a box art is nice even for such simple subject i would say kit number is 35 320 here you can see comparison with my hand and on the side you can see some safety advices and address of the manufacturer while on the opposite side you'll find four marking options but obviously you are not limited with them because it's a cargo trailer so if you have some other ideas you're more than welcome to go with them especially if you have some references for such task so this is a top opening box, uh, box and we have all spruce packed together into a plastic bag and we have assembly manual on the bottom I suggest we start with the plastic spruce and they are sealed in a plastic bag so I will have to cut through it and check all these frames one by one but as I said if you've seen the combo set review before you won't be surprised by anything here because it's pretty much the same parts set as what was in the initial release and now I'm just trying to understand whether some spruce are uh, copying each other because uh, another nice catch is that they are coming with this uh, rubber band which will protect uh, let's say all parts from flying around the box even though they are coming in a sealed plastic bag still it is a handy thing to have out of the box now just give me a second to somehow remove it because it's a tricky thing to do with all the spins around and we are going to start with this plastic sprue actually it's a, I would say more of a part of plastic sprue sp uh, section so here we have side walls with a wooden texture and also bars for the chassis and here you can see also them from the opposite side obviously there are uh, some metal bars promoted so you don't have to worry that they're a plane from the opposite side and of course wooden texture might be handy for these modellers who like to play with wooden texture because this way they will be able to bring even more visual interest to the model and by the way i think now uh, this section is actually part of this proof which i will show you the next because otherwise they won't be able to fit it because box is not that big here you can see this broken ends and here we also have these rings let's say so they will be used for the road wheels we also have some parts for the front section so for example here we have the special seat which will be installed in front of the trailer and here we have this special connection loop so as you can see it is molded as a single piece part so be careful while separating it it. even though we have only four attachment points three here and one there still it's better to use the right tool so that you get a clean cut you won't damage the parts and you won't have to think how to fix them obviously next we continue with another plastic spruce so here we have road wheels and this is i would say a good example of minor design because we do not get any vinyl tires or some other unnecessary things we get a proper part which is easy to work with and it will be also easy to paint and get the more realistic result because we also have some features on the tire walls obviously you will be able to replicate the tire just like the real one so here you can take a closer look and if i flip it over inside you'll find some guiding elements moreover this tire sections they have let's say teeth on the side so you'll be able to align them between each other and you won't have to worry about any unnecessary issues occurring here and there next we continue with another set of plastic spruce here i have to remove the rubber straps as well because there are several spruce connected together with this rubber bands so i'm going to start with 
this section of the sprue and it's exactly the same story as what we saw on the first one as you can see it is broken in half we have leaf springs here we also have some parts for the suspension and overall molding quality seems to be fine so it's just a matter of careful assembly and of course check the alignment because it will be quite important next we continue with another section of the sprue so it looks quite good in my opinion and I would say part set is absolutely similar because uh, they carry the same parts. Obviously this is a trailer so that's why we need a double set of the suspension parts. Here we continue with the wooden parts for the top section of this trailer. As you can see they are plain, they do not feature any wooden texture. So be careful while uh, trying to replicate something. And by the way this sprue is given in two pieces so there are two frames of the same type and the same can be said about this sprue as you can see there are two of them so I will leave only one here we have the floor panels so they also feature wooden texture and we have wooden texture on this side walls which are slightly bigger know that also metal parts are pre-molded it would be a good idea to dry brush them in order to replicate some let's say weathering and on the opposite side they're just plain we have the nails but it's more than okay and here we have the supports for the main chassis so it's not just a plain four panels because it's not visible Minyard does not skip on these things and in my opinion it's really great because it will add a visual interest to even to such simple subject. Next we continue with a small decal sheet. It comes from Decograph. You can see that printing quality is really good. Here I don't have anything to complain. My experience is, I would say, positive with this decals. I did not have any problems whatsoever. And next we continue with assembly manual. So assembly manual comes in form of small brochure. And here you can see we do not have parts count anymore, unfortunately. So let's flip over the page. First marking option comes in a gray color and it is uh, from 1941-1942 Eastern Front. We have also parts map and of course unused parts are not marked, it's a typical for Minyard. But the assembly process starts with the four panels and main chassis, then we continue with road wheels and suspension parts, leaf springs and wheel axles. But it should be quite simple because it's just a trailer. And next we continue with the front section with the special seat. As you remember it has quite tricky supports, so be sure to align them properly in order to get a, I would say, more convincing appearance and then we proceed with sidewalls which are installed separately I'm not sure if it is actually yeah there is a possibility to open them so you choose either you would like to copy the trailer with open sides or closed sides it's up to you here we continue with two more so this one's come from 1943 1944 and this one is from 1944 as you remember, the red crosses were provided as a decals, but you can also replicate them with help of your masks if you want to. And here is another one from 1945. So it's a camouflaged trailer. Okay, so this kit should be already available. You can get it in Madenimex webshop. Of course, I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such a list. Do not forget to write it here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today, and bye!